Hey everyone, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back, or welcome to if you're new here. We're gonna be talking about Kale Laurie. As you guys know, Kale Laurie is from Team Mom. She also, she's no longer on Team Mom. She has several podcasts. And on one of her recent podcasts, she revealed that her son Isaac was jumped at school from behind. I actually think I forgot to roll my intro in the live that I did earlier. Don't want to forget it this time. Let's go ahead and roll the intro. It gives it gives YouTube enough time to send out notifications and for people to come in. So let's go ahead. Let's roll that intro and we will get right into the story. Okay, you guys. So let's get into this because this is honestly super sad. Um, yay, Stephanie. This is really sad because Kale's kids, Isaac, is the least one that I would think this would happen to because he seems so um, quiet and shy. Seems like he would not be the one to mess with people. But I do have to say, my daughter who's 18, she is very quiet and shy as well. And I don't know. People don't like that for some reason. Like, my daughter, her teachers would always report to me at parent-teacher conference, like, you don't even know she's in the room. She just does her work. She'll talk. She's super quiet. Like, you literally don't even know she's there. And my daughter's just a quiet person in general. Super quiet, right? But she always had issues with, you know, people, like, wanting to jump her, like, crazy stuff. So, anyways... Let's get into this. Super sad to hear this. I hate this. Never make your lives. Yay. Happy Oz here. Hey, Catherine. I'm so glad you missed. I mean, <laughs> so glad you made it. I was reading Lulu's comment after you where she said, dang, missed the first part. You haven't missed anything yet, Lulu. Are you here? We was actually rolling the intro. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this, guys. Okay, so um, Kale Laurie recently told her viewers on her podcast barely famous that her son isaac who is 13 that he had gotten into a fight at school i do have a clip of the audio so i will play it but let me go ahead and kind of give a rundown before we play it so kale starts the story off by explaining that one of her family friends um texts her because her family her friend has a son that goes to the same school as Isaac. So her friend is like, hey, is Isaac okay after, you know, the fight that happened? And she's like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't, I haven't heard of anything. Like, I don't know about him getting into the fight. So she immediately calls her son's school where they tell her that they're not uh, aware of any fight that may have occurred. So um, after she gets off the phone with the school, the assistant principal immediately calls her back and lets her know what's going on that yes, there was in fact a fight at the school that her son was involved in. Kale says at this point, she's like flying to try to get to the school. She's mad because for some reason she was thinking that Isaac was, you know, possibly the instigator, thinking that maybe he was the one that caused the fight. The assistant principal assured Kale that Isaac was not the one who started the fight and that he was actually attacked from behind. And Isaac had absolutely nothing to do with it. They didn't even know that it was coming. He's just walking and somebody gets him from behind. The assistant principal checked the cameras and they, like they said, nope, he had no part of it. He didn't know that it was coming. After everything was handled, the school gave Isaac an excuse to use the next day. So he did not have to go to school the next day, which actually was the last day of school. So after he was attacked, he didn't have to go back to school. Which makes me worry, like, what about next year? Like, whoever did this, that kid, I don't know. Like, that, I would be scared to send my kid back to school with that kid. You know what I'm saying? Kel does say that he is okay. He made out only with a couple scratches and scrapes because other kids saw this happen and they pulled the kid off of Isaac. Kel says that she and Isaac talk all the time and he tells her how he feels and that he actually had therapy that night. She said, I can't even imagine if it would have happened and he didn't have therapy until next week. Isaac is just not a fighter. And he is also, um, you know, like soft, very soft hearted. So like things will bother him. Um, whereas maybe something like Isaac, not so much. I mean, Lincoln, not so much, but Isaac, you know, his feelings will get hurt over things. 
So she said, thankfully, he had therapy that night. And after the therapy session, he did feel a lot better about what happened. And then once they got home, there were some um, parents calling KL saying that their child goes to school with him. And, you know, they were concerned and they wanted to make sure that Isaac was okay. So that also brought comfort to him knowing that, like, his buddies at school, you know, they were concerned and wanted to make sure that he was okay. Um, people commented on this over on Instagram. He seems like such a sweet old soul. I cannot imagine anyone having an issue with him. I'm glad that he's okay. This is just so sad. As Isaac seems so sweet. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I'm going to play you guys the audio of where she tells what happened. But it is a little bit choppy. Um, it starts off basically where she's saying that she got the call, right? Um, I should have had this pulled up, but you guys, YouTube like booted out when I was trying to plan this and it just came back up, thankfully. All right, let's see. All right, you guys. So I'm going to share the clip of where she talks about this on the podcast, okay? And she's basically starting off saying, like, Lux's his cousin saw the fight. So his dad called. Y'all, YouTube is running slow. Anybody else is running slow? All right, let's listen. It's Lux's cousin is like, hey, I heard Isaac got in a fight, is he okay? And I said, what? I have no idea, let me call the school. Call the school, the school's like, we have no idea what you're talking about, like, let me call guidance. I said, well, I'm gonna come down there, so, you know, can I go to guidance with you? And she's like, no, but I can have guidance come up here. I'm like, okay, well, I'm on my way to the school, I'm gonna get this figured out, because why the fuck would someone else be texting me about my son getting into a fight? Brandon doesn't even work. About my son getting into a fight is what she was trying to say, but it got cut off. Also, trigger warning, Y'all know she dropped some F-bombs here and there. So, hey, Maverick, how you been doing? I haven't seen you in a minute, Miss Maverick. At the school. So, right. obviously, his son, who I call my nephew, told him something that happened. So, I'm like, okay, I'm on my way over there. And then the assistant principal calls me, and she's like, I have Isaac. Like, whatever. I'm gut. Like, I'm flying at this point. I go in there, like ready to fucking fight i'm thinking that my son is being an instigator right like i'm thinking that he is he caused the fight <laughs> so the assistant principal's like whoa 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 before you get on to him let me explain the situation that you know she first she wanted to explain to me that they had protocol which is why i didn't get the call first so the protocol is you know when there's a fight or something like that the nurse examines them and then they get you know the kid's side of the story the other kid's side of the story and then they go um check the cameras to match the stories or whatever I'm thinking that Isaac started this fight, right? No, absolutely not. He was attacked from behind. Mm. And Common theme in your family. Oh, yeah. Oh, like people there. <laughs> so she said he was attacked from behind. And her her co-host said common theme with your family. Like, yeah, yeah your fa you and your family members getting attacked from behind. Um, and she is referring to Brianna D. Jesus' sister, Brittany, Coming up behind Kale and grabbing her from the back and pulling her down at the reunion a couple years back. We're afraid of, there's no other way to put it. Mm -hmm. You can't come up to us from the front. You have to sneak this. Like you have to sneak up behind us. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, I'm I'm calling Joe, cussing him out, not cussing at him, but like cussing to him. Mm -hmm. Like I think going to military school. Like I'm not doing this. Like if he's causing <laughs> a fight, this is fucking embarrassing. And I'm like, slowly putting my own foot in my mouth. Get there. Isaac had nothing, like, she said she checked the cameras and no parts. Like, Isaac could not have heard or saw this coming. So I'm like, oh, my fuck, I'm right. So I'm like, now I'm sorry because I came, you know, I mm -hmm. came in here ready to ready to go. Yep. And I'm like, Isaac, sorry, I thought this was you. Oh, mind you, he's probably like, my mom is such a dick. <laughs> well, because I'm, here's the thing, and you know this about me, but I don't know if other people know this about me. Um, I'm not an in-denial parent, right? So, like, if my son is involved in something, any of my kids, not just Isaac. So let me not single him out. But if any of my kids are involved in something or there's an altercation or a fight or whatever, which none of my kids have gotten in fights before, but you get what I'm saying. Um, I'm not one of those parents that's like, oh, my son would never. 
because I don't know. And I was a kid at one point and a lot of times kids can have their parents believe in one thing. And that, that's not to say that there aren't kids who really wouldn't do something. And then they get like attacked from behind or whatever the case may be, but I'm not an in denial parent. You know, if Isaac had a fight with someone early in the year and you know, something was going on and then this happened, whatever, like we all have to take accountability somewhere. Right. So like, I'm just not an in denial parent. And that's probably because I am more self-aware about myself now. Anyway. So we figured that out. They gave us our options. Isaac gets an admin excusal for tomorrow. So he doesn't have to go to school. And tomorrow's the last day of school. He's like, I don't want to go. Don't blame him. Go. I'm like, are you hungry? He's like, yeah, first of all, he's okay. Um, you know, he has a couple of scrapes and scratches, but he is okay. And I guess other kids pulled this kid off of him. So it was fine. So we figured that out. They gave us our options. Isaac gets an admin excusal for tomorrow. So he doesn't have to go to school. It's Lux's cousin. Okay, so um, Joe is not on the show, but neither is Kale. So none of Kale's family is on the show anymore. Kale, the kids, Joe, they haven't been on the show. Um, she quit the show, but she still has her podcast uh, where she often talks about things going on in her life. She did say, though, that she has like, talked to her kids about what they are comfortable sharing. Um, because Isaac actually came to her like a while back and was like, I think you overshare too much of my life. And she was like, well, you know what? Pictures, stories, I will always come to you then if you're if that's what you want. And he said yes. Um, so she does say that when it comes to Isaac, like before she posts a picture of him or like share, shares a story about him, she makes sure that he's okay with it, which I think is pretty cool, you know, um, to ask, you know, especially when you have such a large platform like that, you got to be very careful with kids. Like, because it opens kids up to be attacked and the internet is nasty. It sucks. Um, but thankfully, he was not hurt, you know, other than some scrapes and, and little scratches on him. Thankfully, people were there to see it and pull the guy off of him. I'm very curious to know how old the the aggressor was, the, the guy that attacked him from behind. And wow, what would be the point of that? You know, um, I can't imagine that Isaac pushed him to the point of doing that. At no point are you really pushed to the point of doing that. But where's was there some confrontation at some point at school? Did this boy just not like Isaac because, you know, he's Isaac. He's on a TV show. What You know, a lot of people are jealous over stuff like that. So I wonder what the case was here. If I was Kale, I would really be, like, pushing for this boy to get some trouble um, because, you know, like my son did not physically do anything to you and you attack him from behind. I did not, Melaine. That is wild. He seems like a very sweet, quiet boy. So to hear that this happened is ridiculous. Um, I have not heard the actual full podcast, so I am going to listen to that tonight to see if she gives any more details. If she, uh, you know, tells about what happened to the young boy, I am going to listen to it just to see. Maybe I can give you guys an update um, tomorrow. But I got this off uh, Team Mom Fan's Instagram account and just recorded it from there. So I am curious if there's more to it. But the full podcast in itself is like over an hour long. So I was like, you know what, I'll talk about this and then I'll listen to the full podcast maybe tonight. And if there's any more information that, you know, I didn't get out of that one clip, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But sad situation, I can't even imagine. Thankfully, he's not hurt. I'm so glad that, you know, the kids are, can go to therapy and that he had therapy that night. And after therapy, he felt better about it. And him and Kale saying, like, he tells me how he feels. He talks to me about how he feels. Um. I hope that he's not being bullied by like other kids and this was just like a weird one-time situation and it's not that he's being bullied for being on school or or here's the thing with Isaac I don't know let me go to her Instagram account and I hope not I hope this is not the case but I know how kids can be I know how things can be so Isaac like he likes to paint his fingernails he, he wears like pink tennis shoes you know what I'm saying I hope it's nothing to do with that that's causing these other kids to act this way. You never know, though. You know, because kids are so cruel. Yeah, God love him. He's in a tough spot with a famous mom and everything with his life being so public. It's got to be hard. And my daughter was bullied 
my daughter was bullied so bad that one day she came home and I needed to go to the school board to talk to them about it. Um, and I was scared to leave her. I was literally scared to leave her. I really worried that she might take her own life. She was hysterical. It was horrible. I'm so glad. She, and it was because of Mean Girls. Just Mean Girls that, like, the girls on Dance Line, for no reason, they were on Dance Line with Paris. It was her first year on Dance Line, and they were just so nasty to her. You know, if she wore the wrong shoes, oh, my gosh. Like, they were popping off and being really nasty. Even though the other girls would have the wrong shoes on, the girl that jumped on her would have the wrong shoes on. But it's like, Paris better not wear the wrong shoes. Paris better not be five minutes late. Paris, you know, better not wore her hair a little bit different. Like, it was it was horrible. It was so bad. Um, and my daughter is beautiful, and she's super smart. She's super quiet, but it was bad. He had to switch schools. I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm really praying that Paris will have a better experience in college. Um, because her high school years were ruined for sure. They were ruined by bullies. Um, my son was bullied probably for years. He got jumped up and kind of oh, in fourth grade. Oh my gosh. See, I've been, I would have been up to that school being at some kids every Monday. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to, anyways. Like, I'm one of those parents. Like, you come for my kid. I'm like, I, what's being done about this? What is being done about this? And I think Kale's probably one of those as well. Probably up there at that school, you know. I'm sure later on in the video, she probably updates on what happened. Um, so I'm going to listen to it. And if she does give an update on what happens to the kid, I will let you guys know that tomorrow. But anyways, you guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, did you guys know that Sean from Teen Mom, Young and Pregnant, Jade's fiance, did y'all know he had a twin? We're going to, I plan on, um going live a little bit later on the other channel oh my goodness i'm so sorry real mama j as someone who has a son that is autistic i feel you there people don't understand like to other people your kid is weird because they think differently and they act a little different it's like oh my god you're so weird and it's like no they're not weird okay so this is jade's fiance sean right here on the right, on the beaches, and this is his brother. I don't know his name. Um, anyways, you guys, bullying, I talk to my kids all the time about it because I saw what my daughter went through, um, and I hope to God, you know, that I never get a call that my kids being a bully because I can tell you now, my husband, he, he would get on that, you know. Um, but anyways, everybody in the chat, if you've had a child that's been bullied, I am so sorry. Please just show them love. Let them know that it is not their fault. Let them know that people bully out of their own misery. People don't bully because you really did something wrong. People bully you because they are they got something that's not going well for them. They're, they're sad or they're mad. And it's not your child's fault. So talk to your kids. Yes, he does have a twin. It just came out recently. Anyways, you guys, I love y'all. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I think I'm going to do at least one more on this video, on this channel. But I'm also going to be going over on the Bash Chat, which is now Fatal Files with L. But to find it when you search, you have to put the Bash Chat because... If you just put in Fatal Files with L, it's harder to find. Um, I'm going to be going live earlier. I mean, later on that channel. And I'm going to be reading a post from, um, you guys know Natalia Grace. Her adoptive parents, how they were arrested. And um, the dad, some of his charges were dropped before trial. But then they went to trial and he was found not guilty. And then the adoptive mom. Um, they dropped her charges right before her trial was set to begin, like three weeks before it was set to begin. Well, the mom has spoken out. She has spoken out about her son, Jacob, about everything that he said. She has spoken out about the documentary. She has spoken out about her ex, Michael. She speaks about Natalia. 
She has spoken out in this very long post that I found, and I'm going to go live and I'm going to read her response. That'll be over on the Fatal Files. So you guys join me over on the Fatal, Fatal Files. Let's set, I'm going to set that stream for 6 p.m. Central Time, where we will go live 6 p.m. Central Time over on the Fatal Files, and we will read her response to all of it. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll make the thumbnail, set it up. That way you guys know, and I'll probably do one more on here beforehand. You guys join me back here shortly. Make sure you're over there, over on the Fatal Files. But to find it, you have to put it in the Bash Chat. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.